Hi, this is Rob Bolaños. Welcome to the analysis and design of a flyback video 31. I'm going to be talking about reset and what happens uh, when your transformer resets. Okay. So, and the reason I'm talking about this subject is that in the previous lectures I never talked about reset, and reset is a term that it is used in the industry. So. I'm going to go ahead and explain it, or at least uh, you'll have a into it in uh, feel of when your transformer resets. And then the second is how to verify that your transformer is resetting. This is important, okay? And then, and basically, reset happens when your volt second rule is applied or actually satisfied let me go ahead and see if I can put this a little bit darker satisfied okay and for those that don't know what the volt second rule it's very simple basically that the voltage that is applied on your primary during the time on is going to equal the voltage that is on your primary during the off time so once these are equal then your transformer has reset okay so let's talk about that just a little bit more make it a little bit more intuitive intuitive Okay. So during this process when the MOSFET is on you're building up a flux. Okay. It's building up and you're actually storing energy in the core okay but then when you turn off let me backtrack you're building up the flux but then you're collapsing the flux so here it's collapsing and you're releasing the energy okay where is it releasing it well it's releasing it to your cap and your load okay so basically once that function is done then the transformer has reset so if you're you're starting uh, from a flux of zero and you go to a certain Tesla then you that maximum Tesla then goes to zero so you won't have any flux okay so let's go ahead and in terms of looking at a schematic or your output on your drain okay when you're scoping your uh, power supply how can you tell that it's resetting okay so to do that we're going to go ahead and use this uh, schematic okay and we're going to draw out some of the waveforms to show that of what's happening okay so during the time that the gate is on you have 10 volts let's go ahead and put 10 volts here okay we're going to put 10 volts at the gate so you would have 10 volts at the gate so what happens your MOSFET turns on and 
if you have 26 volts you have 26 volts here and this is grounded All right so the voltage across the transformer and remember this I forgot to add this hang on put the dot here make sure I have a dot here too okay so back to okay so that means that during the time on you have 26 volts here so that would be this waveform so then it goes to 26 volts okay so we're there okay so then what happens once you apply 26 volts okay let me read okay. you're gonna have current flowing that current is I pry okay and like I said that's when your your flux is building up okay so during that time when the current is building up then you have this portion your current ramps up okay and you can calculate this by using the uh, the uh, di dt l equals v solve so for di and you can calculate what that peak is okay okay so then let's look at the drain this is the drain right there that's the drain gate source so what happens to the the drain well it's on so that means it's zero volts so then you have zero volts there okay so now we have most of the waveforms at least during the time on okay so now we use this uh, schematic of what happens well, during the time off, your MOSFET is off. Okay. Oh, and let me backtrack a little bit. Okay. During this time, time on, it's getting a little bit busy here. So let me go ahead and uh, just to clean up. And it's important you understand what's happening. so when the MOSFET turns on you have a positive on the dotted one so you're gonna have a positive on the dotted one on the secondary side therefore you're gonna have a negative here and you have a diode here basically but since it's a negative this diode is actually off it's uh, it's a uh, reverse bias so basically it's an open okay or you can say off but you have these signs okay so now when you turn off this the MOSFET current tries to flow or it uh, or the, as the field collapses then you have an inversion and if you notice here I have positive and negative well they flip this turns negative this turns positive so that means where the dot is negative you put a negative and the undotted you put a positive and remember there's a diode here and if you have a positive here and a negative here that means that's on okay so basically it's you can consider it a short 
and if you have a positive here you're gonna have a positive here and negative so okay so all the polarities are already set up okay and I just want to note that this is the drain okay so we got that up that set up okay so now we're gonna go ahead go ahead and complete the rest of the waveforms this one is going to be self-explanatory and make this a little wider it's going to go off and it will remain off until it gets all the way to the T on time okay so now let's look at the primary okay in other words the voltage between this node the dotted and the undotted okay so if you notice this is open there's no current because it's open okay so but you do have a voltage that's across this and it's not VN which is across because this would have to be on so VL is actually it's a reflected voltage okay and it's a reflection from the secondary in other words what appears on the primary is what's reflected from from this direction okay so in that case we can write an equation that the reflective is equal to it's going to be and it's actually this here we solve for this this is V reflective So it's going to be V out and P and S. Okay. So let's put some numbers in here. Okay. And let's put a turn ratio of this is where. Oh, and there's another caveat. And this is assuming that NR is equal to VN. And let's say we set it to 12 volts and it's 26. Okay. So it's 0 0.5. Okay. Or you can say a 1 to 2 ratio. Okay. So if that's the case. V out is 12 volts and you can either put uh, the uh, the turns ratio or the voltage okay so we can say that it's uh, 26 volts let it be 12 so basically with the V reflective it's going to be 26 volts but it's negative okay so in this case I hope that makes sense okay so now this is going to reflect it's going to swing in the negative direction okay and it will be negative 26 volts okay so we got that part now if you look at the schematic again there used to be a current here flowing now you don't have any current flowing through here because this is open so what happens to the current it actually goes to zero
and it remains zero until t on. So in this case, you have zero current. Okay, so we got that. So let's go ahead and go up again. Let's take a look. Since we've already said that the reflected VL is the reflected and we calculated that it's going to be 26 volts negative okay so we can say let's uh, clean this up again okay so let's see if it this will make sense Okay, so now we're going to clean this up, and we're going to say that the reflective is 24 volts, or 26, and it's from here to here. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to calculate this, what is the voltage at the drain. Okay, that's going to be very important. And you need to know that because you want to size your MOSFET correctly. So now if you notice, if you sum the voltage in plus this reflected voltage, okay, so you have a minus positive, minus positive, you actually have double the voltage. So basically you're going to have 2 Vn, right? Vn is 26 and you got 26 so basically you're gonna have double the voltage okay so now we can go ahead and draw this okay and we're gonna label that you have 2 V N okay now I want to make a statement here that this is only only if you use this to set your turn ratio if you if you use this to set your turn ratio then this is valid so therefore if you set that you can always make a statement that the voltage at the drain will always be twice your input voltage okay twice Vn. But this statement is only valid if this is valid. Okay. So anyway, so that's what you have so far. So then what happens? The flux goes to zero. Okay. So you don't have any current flowing. So let's continue with this. So what happens to if you don't have any any flux there's no current flowing through here right so then your MOSFET or your diode actually turns off since there's no flux remember the flux It goes zero, and if you don't have flux, you don't have no I secondary. And if you don't have no secondary, your diode turns off. Okay. So if you don't have any diode connected connected here, you don't have a reflected voltage up here in here. There's nothing to reflect. So during the 
TL reset the reflective close to zero. This goes to zero volts. Okay, so then let's do that. Goes to zero and stays there until T on. Okay, and we already know what the primary, there's no current, remains at zero. This is zero volts. Okay, so what happens here at the drain? Okay, so remember this is zero volts, but you still have this volts. So you have 26 volts, which is here, and there's no current. If there's no current, that means there's no delta voltage, meaning there's no voltage across this to drop. So if you have 26 volts here, you're going to have 26 volts here. Therefore, this 2VN drops to VN. Okay, so it drops like that and then goes back to zero. Okay, so when you look at the drain, a good clue to look at is look at this area when your drain starts to drop that's when your reset occurs okay and you can also make a statement by looking also at your current through your diode and instead of going through analysis I will just go ahead and draw you the current of the di secondary diode that during the T on has no current and during this time the current is flowing and when it goes to zero that's also an indication of when reset occurs okay so you have two places you can look here or you can look there okay so once this goes to zero or you start dropping then you're already reset which means that the flux has gone to zero and you have no current flowing okay so let's take a look at some of the simulation okay so here is the simulation I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in at steady state and let me see if I can zoom in approximately there okay okay so this looks good okay so then let's see if we can put this here and yeah, we can resize this Okay, so here's the gate. Here's the gate. Okay, and then we're looking at 
the primary voltage and I said it's going to be about 26 and if you look through here it's about 26 volts 30 is here 26 okay it's a rough act we can probably put the cursors here uh, 25.3 close enough okay okay so then the current if you notice in the primary is ramping up the current in the primary is ramping up okay and then let's look at the drain the drain we said it's going to be zero so here during the this drain T on is basically 0.6 volts basically zero okay so now in the T off time goes off time goes off the voltage across uh, the transformer if you notice this is zero now it swings to the negative 26 or close to it if you notice 26 volts so now I want to show here it's going from 25 positive to negative 26 okay so we got that far and then the current goes to zero volts 82 millivolts essentially zero and then the drain I said that you're gonna have approximately twice the the input voltage so we're gonna should be close to 50 volts and if we go here that's 52 volts okay so now this is what I wanted to get to see this point where I said that where your transformer or your drain voltage when it starts going to zero or starts in a downward approach that's where you see it right there right there is when it starts to go to zero and if you notice it's got a little bit of wiggle that's because there's a little bit of ringing but if you were to average this out and you put your cursor right there it's 26 volts and that's what I had mentioned over here that this section is going to drop to VN V N okay so basically it goes from twice the input voltage to one input voltage and then it decays to zero and if you notice it decays to zero okay so when you're troubleshooting you're gonna see if you're gonna see your uh, drain go up to twice approximately twice your input voltage and then once it starts dropping that's your reset okay so basically you have three intervals you have your T on your T off and then your reset okay hopefully that makes sense I'm gonna do another video I'm gonna show how you can uh, if you don't set your uh, your reset voltage correctly or the reflective voltage basically your turns ratio that you can have problems with your MOSFET overheating okay so hopefully in the next video I'll be able to show that anyway thank you for watching